James, how's it going? Thank you for sending in your video. Looking forward to diving into a bit of forehand technique here with you and some uh, really good stuff. You know, listen, you hit the ball well. There's a few little interesting things and maybe little tiny quirks in your swing that I'd like to point out to maybe show you. And you know, even just the first one there before I really dive in, that's a very hooded position. So it's really over the top. I think that's a little bit extreme. I think you could have that racket possibly more about 45 degrees. I'd even say your elbow could be a little bit lower, like that elbow elevating to that height there. That's also quite extreme because there's a lot of moving parts that have to happen for you to come back to the ball. And yeah, look, I know it's cutting it off on the camera. We just don't quite catch that. But there's, there's, there's an extremity there. And if you just look at your strings, looking towards the camera and the glass, listen, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. I get excited when I see some stuff to help people. But anyone that's watching that is enjoying this, please do share and subscribe to the channel. And as always, click in the link in the description grab your free personalized swing order. would be more than happy to help out. Okay, so one thing I need to point out, which is really good, really nice grip, the, well, nice and also not nice. So the thing that, that's great, I like that your finger's up there a little bit. I think your grip looks very closed. There, there's a little bit of a closed area to it. So I think a few more degrees opening that grip would be slightly better, as well as, and again, it's hard for me to show, but I'll hopefully show you in some other areas, that your grip is sitting possibly more into your into your palm area and not as much into your fingers. So the finger grip is really, really important. Again, if it's not up now, there's going to be a whole bunch of videos on the grip that I want to put on the channel to help people out. But I think there's there's a bit of a closed grip. I like that your, your finger is up, but then I suppose the closeness and it's sitting maybe a little bit in the palm could do a little bit of work there, maybe once you get into the fingers. Okay, so let me go forward a little bit and I'll stop it in a little bit here. But Again, we can just see that slightly excessive swing. Look, there's some really good stuff, by the way. Something I want to really point out that I think is great. Look at that tilt in the shoulders. I'm really liking that, the way you're setting up, the way you're getting your knee nice and bent. Big fan of that two-footed position where you're going in and you're facing about 45 degrees. That's just extreme, isn't it? Like Think, think about like where the strings are looking, how much work that racket has to do to get all the way around. So your position one, if I can draw it here, I would say elbow should be maybe around about shoulder height, maybe even just below shoulder height. Your elbow is significantly high up there. And then it also looks like your forearm's pointing upwards as well. So, and then it feels like you're having to then compensate and then, then having to shut and roll this over. Because if you just look at where those strings are looking, they kind of like looking down and almost through to the glass. So again, just going back what I said before, I might just choose a different one. Let me just see if I can just find a slightly different one there. And yeah, maybe the elbow, this is interesting there. Look at the angle of the elbow. That looks too open, doesn't it? So if we're looking in and around there, I think it's just too open. I think we want that elbow, you know, becoming a little bit tighter, a bit more compact, a bit more cocked, so to speak. And I think that'll help. You look at something like Diego's forehand, really good in that sense. And I think what happens there, yeah, you maybe didn't, didn't quite get behind the ball, but it's a pretty good shot your arm straightens up too early in the swing. Listen, really good stuff here. You're really engaging your legs, really sitting down well. Like that for me is a great position. If we just look at the body, really, really good. And yeah, you had to kind of dig that out. It was a bit of a tough shot. So I think the main thing I'm, I'm hopefully pointing out here, you can start to see, we can just start to lower that elbow, have that racket at about 45 degrees higher up. And let's just see if there's anything here. This might be a nice one there. So that's nice. See, look at that there. That's what I'm liking. So there, you've done really well. I would say start to get that a bit more. That's spot on. You know, I'm really glad I kind of caught that because your elbow is in that optimal position. It's a little bit more bent. I'm liking where this angle is. That's that 45 degree angle. So slightly hooded over, not as extreme as before. So for me, I would say, can you get more and more into that? Yeah, and then I'd say your body, it's hard to describe this, but your hip area, you need to be throwing and using more of your kind of like your right rib cage, your right hip, getting what I call the C shape. Again, I'm going to be doing some videos on this, but that C shape, you're getting it a little bit, but not quite engaging that body as well. But listen, now that's interesting. So that's a swing that you played for a bit of a drop and a cut. And actually that's not even an appropriate swing for your drop. So this is hopefully your kind of main coaching point. That swing there, that's your drive. That's your power. You don't need much more than that, right? I think you want to really use that as your starting point for the drops and, and maybe cutting that ball in. You might want to be a bit steeper and or the swing a little bit shorter. But that, and again, I'm going to probably leave it on this, 
that's a great swing. I know you, again, that's probably why you're not getting that full C shape or not using your body there because you actually are cutting it in, but you actually get underneath the ball there and then you float it and you're not, you're not carving downwards. See how the racket's gone really flat too far away from the ball. So it gets under it and then it spoons it up on that front wall. You know, if you're going to play that shot, you want to be a little bit closer and carving that edge off the ball. You want to be a lot more severe down there with this swing. You got a, you got a really nice swing there. Like I said, that's, that's okay. But again, yeah, you, you've gone into that position too, way too early and you get under it. So listen, hopefully that's helping. There's probably a lot more I can unpack there and talk about, but there's a whole bunch of really good stuff. So thank you for sending this in. See if you can go mimic that type of swing, do it without the ball, ghost it, visualize it, practice with no distractions, and then bit by bit start to put the ball in play. Reduce the size and kind of lift of that elbow, that overly hooded racket position, get that 45 degree angle there, which big, big fan of. And listen, you're doing some really good stuff. So thanks for sending this in. And anyone that's watching, please do click in the link in the description, grab your free personalized swing ordered, share and subscribe to the channel. And why not go check out your free version of the squash playbook sitting in there for you. Just click the link, everything's there. Okay, I'll see you all at the next video. Cheers for now.